Today on the channel, we put on our thinking cap and we put our eyes towards the future with Mattel Elite Series 100. The Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for a little discussion video today as we're doing a little fantasy book and we're talking a little bit all things Mattel Elite Series 100 as that is just around the corner and I have a good strong suspicion a good feeling that at San Diego Comic-Con here in a couple of weeks we are going to get the reveal of what the lineup will be for Mattel Elite Series 100 so I figured before that came Let's try to fantasy book. Let's try to talk all things Mattel Elite 100. See what comes true of our predictions. See what happens. And I'm going to spitball some things that I think might happen. And Mattel Elite Series 100, I'd have to think, is going to come early 2023. Maybe late January, early February to the ringside collectibles of the world. Uh, maybe April time frame to the stores. That's just spitballing. You never know what might happen in this day and age. But it is just absolutely crazy that Mattel... We are at Elite 100. Of course, the Basics passed the 100 mark two years ago, whatever it's been, something like that. Uh, those are put out a little faster clip, as we all know. Uh, but just amazing to have 100 of a series. There is not a lot of toy lines out there that win 100 series. I mean, it doesn't feel like a big deal, but when you really take a step back and think about it, you think of all the classic lines, the Turtles, uh, He-Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers. Obviously, they've been going on forever, but one company, 100 series of just these that doesn't happen very long or very often so that is a huge milestone a huge uh, thing for Mattel it should be celebrated and I do believe Mattel will celebrate series 100 we will get some special figures I think we'll get some special packaging I think we'll get a lot of specialness to it uh, but I have to think though very soon in the next couple of weeks we will know who is going to be in these lines I just have to think that's going to be something that's going to be discussed at San Diego Comic Con so like I said let's talk about it now you guys in the comments below fantasy book your discussion about Mattel Elite Series 100 put who you think will be in your lineup all that kind of stuff and we'll see maybe somebody will get it dead on who knows obviously we'll have to cut down the comments after a couple days because I just see people after San Diego Comic Con oh yeah here's the list and I uh, think they got it right well we got to do it beforehand so put in the comments put your thoughts and anything we discuss here in this video well let's start talking about Mattel Elite Series 100 I feel that Mattel Elite Series 100 will celebrate the whole Mattel uh, years. The 10 plus years Mattel has been in business, I think they have to celebrate those performers. I don't think we're going to get just a special throwback or even ruthless aggression style stuff. They're going to celebrate the Mattel era. I do think that will be the case. Once again, I don't know any of this stuff. I'm just guessing what I would do and what I think. Uh, so I just want to put that out there once again. But I think they will celebrate the Mattel era. One interesting thing is here. So we saw with the Basic Series 100, and I grabbed one of those right here. Uh, I got the Shawn Michaels right here. So you can see they did special packaging for Mattel Elite or Basic Series 100. Special packaging. I have to think the Elite line will do the same thing. We will see something similar to what we have right now, but a totally different color pattern, something like that with the packaging. Now, one thing that I'm very interested to see, could this be the kickoff? Could this be the kickoff to plastic-free packaging with Mattel Elite Series 100? That's a possibility. We see all these other toy companies, primarily Hasbro, going to the plastic-free packaging. We know there's the environmental laws that are in the system. By, I think, 2024, a lot of these companies have to cut down their plastic. Uh, when's Mattel going to jump? You guys, we always talk about business. We always put the business hat on on the channel here. It always takes one company to jump and then their competition to follow. Nobody usually wants to take that first chance unless they have to. Hasbro took the chance. They went to plastic free. Now I think the Mattel team, they're sitting back saying, okay, what do we think about this? What is working? What is the feedback from the consumer? Let's take that feedback, see what we can work in. Maybe we can do it better. That's the kind of stuff that happens out there. And I have to think Mattel is working very hard on that but personally I don't think Mattel series 100 elite series 100 should be the time for new new packaging don't go plastic free in that one uh, I'm gonna guess right now and uh, we'll see if it happens if they do go plastic free 
I think there's a more likeness to I think there's more likelihood of them doing that with Mattel Elite Series 101 than Series 100. So that's my guess right here. I think you go one Series 1 through 100. You got the plastic packaging. You got it. It's a nice bookend. Series 101 and beyond, you can go to the new packaging. Uh, I hope they don't do it with Series 100. And who's to say they'll even do it in 101? It could be 115 for all we know. Who knows? But I would, I think the plastic-free packaging is more likely in Series 101 than it would be in Series 100. But Series 100, I do think, will have some fabulous packaging. Uh, I don't know if it'll be this kind of black motif we got here with Series 100 of the basics, uh, but I think it'll be something that is different, that definitely stands out and looks different on the shelf. So that's my guesses as far as packaging goes. I also think, like I said, they're going to celebrate the whole Mattel era in the lineup. Now, we have to assume, and I'm going to assume once again, it's going to be a six-person lineup. I think that's the way they're going to go with that one. And there's a lot of possibilities for the Mattel Elite Series 100. There's a lot of possibilities, ways they could go, uh, things like that. So, of course, you've got names. I'm going to throw some names out there that I think are likely for Mattel 100. And like I said, put your six uh, set lineup in the comments down below. But I have to think The Rock's got to be in the picture. He's got to be around there. Uh, you got The Undertaker. You got Shawn Michaels. Uh, you got John Cena. Hulk Hogan always looming. He could always be in there. Uh, Randy Orton, of course. Randy Orton had been around that whole time. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior would be a great one for me. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, uh, but the Ultimate Warrior would be a good one to see in Series 100. Uh, some of the newer blood, Roman Reigns, he's came on strong back to, what is it, 50 Series, uh, somewhere in there, but he's been a consistent throughout. Even Seth Rollins has been somewhat a consistent with throughout. Uh, I also think Austin Theory. I could see them saying, oh, Series 100, let's look to the next 100. And Austin Theory... Uh, currently is being set up to be a future big-time player that's going to take a lot of years. You never know what might happen. We've seen guys fizzle out in the past before, but you can say Austin Theory. Now, one thing I'm going to say, here's my guess. Here's my guess for one. They want to make a splash with Series 100. I think Cody Rhodes is going to have his first Mattel Elite. I think we might get a basic before, maybe a suited basic or something like that, but I think his first Elite figure will be in Elite 100. We'll see if that holds true. It could be a little bit sooner. I could see them trying to rush Cody to market, uh, but I think Mattel Elite Series 100, we get our first new WWE Elite Cody Rhodes. So I'm going to put my head on that one. You'd also have to think there'd be at least one female represented in the lineup. Uh, maybe Natty Neidhart. I, I think I could see that one happen. Natalia put her in there. Uh, she's been around a long time as far as uh, the Mattel era. Uh, the longest female of the Mattel era. I could see maybe getting a new Natalia during this time. I mean, she does have a little bit different look from the Cat Ears one we got 20-some series ago, probably. Uh, you just have to think there'd be some female representation in there. Uh, it also could be Ronda Rousey once again. You know, we haven't had a new Ronda Rousey as she's coming back. So you know that's coming sometime soon. Uh, but I'm going to say, my out of all those guys here, I'm going to try to plan my sixth set out. And we'll see what happens here. But I'm going to go The Rock. I just think The Rock's such a big name. He's a big part of the Mattel lineup. He always seems to sell pretty well. So you got to think Rock's going to be in there. So I'm going to put Rock in the set. I'm going to go John Cena. I think there's no doubt in my mind uh, John Cena could be there. But once again, we are getting a new John Cena here in, what is it, Elite Series 95? Uh, I don't know if that's too close, that that might upset that a little bit. But I think if they're going to go by the way I'm guessing and the way I would do it, you got to have Cena in there. He's had tons of elites. He's a stalwart of the elite line. I didn't say earlier, too. We know we're getting a lot of updated uh, pinless articulation, double joints, things like that. It could be a chance for some of these legends to get some throwback figures, uh, kind of like the greatest hits we've been seeing, Ruthless Aggression, some of the Legends line, getting some of these guys updated from past figures. That could be a possibility for some of these. We might get a throwback Cena that was really popular with the modern articulation. Uh, so I got Rock, I got Cena. I have to think Undertaker. Undertaker, another guy, and obviously uh, probably inside the walls of WWE, their most important superstar of all time in a lot of ways. So I could see him coming. I do think Cody Rhodes will be in Elite Series 100. I think they're banking on him for the future a lot. And I think it would be really cool to say, hey, our first figure back in 100. So there's four right there. Uh, then I was going to say Roman in theory. So Roman in theory, I'm going to think one or the other. I'm going to throw a wild card. I'm going to say Theory's not going to be in this set. 
Uh, I do think Roman will be. Uh, so we're going to throw Roman. And then Hogan is another one, but we got Hogan in Elite 96. Of course, that is up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles right now. Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. Hogan, you would have to think, would be in there, but I think they're going to leave him out. For whatever reason, I don't see that one happening. So I might say Natalia Neidhart. I feel like there's going to have to be a female representative in this lineup. Charlotte Flair could be another one. I don't think we'll see Sasha Banks for sure. Uh, gosh, yeah, I'm going to go Natalia. So I'm going to go Rock, Cena, Taker, Roman, Natalia, and Cody. And then another name in there that could be is Stone Cold Steve Austin. You could see that one happening. And really, let's go back to Basic 100. Basic 100, John Cena, The Rock, Stone Cold, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker. Heavy, heavy hitter lineup. So at the same time, they could go just straight heavy legends in Series 100. And I think as far as profitability and sales-wise, that would be their best bet. But I'm hedging my bets. I'm mixing it up a little bit. I'm putting a few in there. But I do think it will be a celebration of all things Mattel in their whole Elite Series. So interesting times ahead of us. Who will be the six? Will the packaging change? I think there's a 100% chance the packaging will change at least to something like this. They might throw us a wild card and go plastic free for 100. I'm hoping if they do that, it's 101 or, or beyond, but we'll see what happens with that. But a lot to look forward to here in the next couple of weeks. San Diego Comic-Con right around the corner. And of course, we will recap it all here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on the old notification bell. Make sure you like this video. You made it this far. And make sure you follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and Patreon.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So make sure you put your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, I am Kyle. And I will see you guys all real soon.